Let's set an intention for practice today. When we think of the word surrender, oftentimes we think that it is a sign of weakness. However, in order to move forward in our lives, we need to sometimes surrender in order to allow all the good things to come. Surrender does not mean giving up your authority. It means accepting what is unchangeable instead of fighting a battle you cannot win. Let's begin today's practice in extended child's pose. Surrendering involves figuring out how to come to terms with what you cannot change. When you feel as if you are banging your head against a wall, it's a good time to, re to surrender. There is a give and take to everything in life. Sometimes all the pushing in the world won't get you what you want. Let go. Release your old thinking and come up with new solutions that will work with you, not against you. Surrender here and now in this extended child's pose. Letting go with each breath. From child's pose, come onto the hands and knees for a table with a flat back. Bringing the hands forward slightly, we're going to restack the joints, bringing the shoulders over the wrists and lowering the hips. On an exhale, push back to child's pose. Inhale, coming forward, modified plank. Exhale, push back. Feel the hip flexors warming up here. Nice stretch for the spine. Do two more. Flat back and tabletop with the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. For Sunbird, we'll extend our right leg behind us, heel pointing or pushing out to the wall and the left arm in front, keeping the gaze on the ground. Exhale, bring the hand and knee back to center. Inhale, extend the left leg long, right arm out. Exhale, bring it back. Other side, inhale to extend. Exhale, bring it in. This time we're gonna do sunbird by extending the right leg, left arm. And we're gonna bring those out to the side on the exhale. Inhaling center and exhale return to the earth. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, extend, exhale to the side. Inhale center, exhale down. Inhale, exhale side, and exhale lower. Use the rhythm of your breath to guide this movement. Stabilizing with the core. Last one.
Beautiful. Now let's go back to our sunbird by inhaling and extending right leg, left arm. And exhale, pull the knee in, touching with the elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. Last one. Returning to center, let's do it on the other side. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. And return to center. Nice. Let's move into our cat and cow. So let the belly hang, tailbone reaches up to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, rounding the back for cat. Finding your breath rhythm here. You should feel warming up now, nice and warm. One more time, big breath in and out. And we're gonna sit back on our heels for hero pose. So while we're in hero pose, reaching one hand out, using the other hand to pull the fingers back toward you to stretch the wrist. Then turning the fingers to the earth, pulling the hand toward you. Let's do the other hand, pulling the fingers back, stretching the front of the wrist, and fingers to the earth, pulling the hand back, stretching the back of the wrist. And then coming onto the hands and knees, we're gonna stretch those wrists a little bit more by turning the palms outward um, so that the fingertips face the knees. So rotating the thumbs outward, facing the inner arm to the front of the room. Now, if you'd like a little bit more, you can lean back, shifting your weight back slowly. You'll feel a nice pull on the inner forearm. Only go as far until the body says stop. Always listen. If it's too intense, come forward. Or you can start by rotating them halfway out with the fingers pointing out to the sides. Breathing here. And then Slowly begin to turn the hands back around one at a time and sit back in the hero pose and circle the wrists, feeling the surrender there, the letting go. And then clasping the fingers together, doing some wrist waves, feeling how loose your wrists are feeling now. All right, we're gonna come into table, all fours. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Moving around here as much as you like. And then walking the feet toward the hands, coming to forward fold. Bringing the hands to the shins, chin to the chest, bend the knees and gently roll all the way up. Finding our mountain pose. Evenly distributing the weight of the body, shoulders back and down, tailbone tucked. Let's take a nice deep breath here, raise those arms up. And exhale, fold. 
bringing hands to shins inhale flattening the back and exhale fold let's step our right foot back coming into a lunge we're going to be rising up into warrior one so make sure the back foot is down the heel is down and the left knee is over the left ankle in a big strong push inhale rise up lifting the arms up warrior one now warrior one is the open-hearted warrior we're pressing our weight into that back heel the back foot is turned out 45 degrees pointing to two o'clock bring the gaze forward and on the exhale bring the hands behind the body either clasping the hands or resting them on the low back or grabbing your elbows you could also do reverse prayer position on an exhale lean forward resting the chest on the thigh for humble warrior humble warrior is a pose of surrender you can go ahead and relax the neck bowing the head on an exhale release the hands down to the earth and straighten out the front leg for pyramid pose this is a nice hamstring stretch and then on an exhale bend that front knee we're gonna rise up on the inhale warrior one On an inhale, extend the front knee, exhale to relax the arms, and step up to mountain pose. Big breath in, raise the arms up, and exhale, fold. Bringing hands to shins, inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold. This time, step the left foot back for lunge, turning the toes out to 10 o'clock and bringing the heel to the earth. The right knee is over the right ankle. And on an inhale, we'll lift up to warrior one. The core is engaged, the body is steady and stable here. On an exhale, bring the hands behind the body to your comfort level. And on our next exhale, lower the chest to rest on the front thigh, keeping the knee bent, humble warrior. Find the surrender and rest into it. Even though this is a pose of surrender, there is great strength here. On an exhale, release the hands to the earth and straighten out the front knee for pyramid pose. Feel that in your hamstrings. And on an exhale, bend the front knee, bring it back over the ankle and we'll inhale up nice and strong, warrior one. On an inhale, extend the front knee. Exhale, relax the arms and step up to mountain pose. Big breath in, arms up overhead. And exhale, fold. Bringing hands to shins, inhale, flattening the back. And exhale, fold. Stepping the right foot back for lunge and stepping the left foot back for plank. On an exhale, push back to downward dog. And 
inhale coming forward to plank exhale down dog we'll do this two more times on our next inhale come forward to plank and exhale release all the way down to the earth resting the head on the hands for crocodile here's our pose of surrender the hands underneath the shoulders elbows in tight by the sides we'll inhale to cobra by lifting the tip of the nose that's baby cobra or you can press into the hands keeping the belly on the earth or you can push up to up dog exhale lower inhale lift to your level exhale lower we'll do two more of those take your time now we'll set up for locust pose by resting the hands next to our sides with the palms up we're going to inhale Lifting the tip of the nose, the hands, and the feet. Here we go. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. As you play with this pose, feel the support of the belly, the breath underneath you holding you up. We'll do one more. And then rest the head on the hands for crocodile. Relax. on an inhale bringing the hands underneath the shoulders let's lift up to all fours tabletop then we're going to have a seat on the heels for hero pose on an inhale raise the arms up overhead exhaling halfway down on the inhale cross left elbow under right and turn the fingers to the sky eagle arms feel a nice stretch in the back the shoulder blades if you like a little more you can raise the elbows if your hands don't touch don't worry about it they can be here they can be here they can be here and exhale release big breath in Exhale, hands down toward the earth and inhale, this time right elbow underneath the left, raising the fingertips to the sky, eagle arms. And release, we're gonna come down onto the back. So make your way there nice and easy. And once you're there, go ahead and hug the knees into the chest. 
rocking gently side to side. And on it, right side of the body, arms out long. Allow the spine to let go of any remaining tension. And then we'll windshield wipe the knees over to the other side. Use the core. center, hugging the knees in. When you're ready, go ahead and bring the feet down to the earth, relaxing the legs all the way down for your Shavasana final resting pose. Today, our pose of surrender. you continue to breathe and rest, thoughts may be coming into the mind. Let them come and then let them go. Bring your attention back to the breath and relax. And as you continue to rest, scan your body from the top of the head all the way down to the toes and ask yourself, where else can I let go? And then allow yourself another deep breath here, in through the nose and out through the mouth.
and begin to wiggle the fingers and toes, hugging the knees into the chest once again, rocking gently side to side, rocking forward and back until you can roll up like a ball. Taking a moment to honor your practice today. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart. Thanking yourself for showing up on the mat. Namaste.